Mark, you needed this, lifts the tension at the club, it'll do wonders for the side's confidence. Um, yeah, uh, obviously going down to 10 men with, I don't know whether it's 10 or 15, it seemed like an hour to play. Um, but the boys at the back, uh, the whole team defended. Um, and I, look, listen, I'm the, I've been the first one lately to, um, to, to criticise the team and the way we've played. I've, obviously, I've involved myself in that. But tonight, um, we showed that um, we haven't given up and uh, how much it means to us to, to put a win on the board. Winston, what did you think of that dismissal? I mean, it looked very harsh to our panel. Yeah, I think, f first of all, um, Chris was unlucky to get a penalty. Um, and then the second one, I mean, it's, it's tough, but um, I, th I think we felt uh, a little bit hard done by. But, you know, you get those decisions against you, um, and you've got to dig in. And like Mark said, uh, we dug in, and the whole team showed a, uh, a big spirit today, and we got the win, which, uh, which we needed. You didn't look like, start like a side that were was struggling in form. It was a really bright start. And you could see how important Cresswell was to decide where he provided the, the cross for that Lanzini goal. Yeah, and obviously after the amount of games we played, you don't want to keep talking about it and uh, injuries, because every team has them. But when you, you miss uh, players like Cress, um, especially wing-backs in this day and age, um, so important to us and to every team. And I thought, uh, I thought he was fantastic today. First game back, he's only trained for probably 10 days. Um, Obviously, we're going to miss him next week now, which is which is not nice. But uh, them three points today was massive, and just um, for everyone that works at the club, you know, um, the, the staff, everyone that's involved was uh, was a big win for us today. You looked comfortable in that changed formation of the three at the back. How, how much have you worked on that in training, and how did it feel for you out there? Oh, I've only been back a day, so <laughs> <laughs> wasn't wasn't too long for me. But that makes it even more impressive. Um, <laughs> Listen, to be fair, we had a game plan. We, we, we talked about it with, with the manager. Um, but I think the main thing today, you could see that we looked as a, like, as a team, you know. We've been working on it um, you know, for, for, for a long time. But, you know, today we just need... We've got a bit of luck as well in certain situations. You know, Eddie got us... Got us out of a couple of situations. You know, they missed a penalty. Um, you know, and um, we needed that today. But it's a great win. A couple of lucky moments, as you say, but the players are right behind Slav, and it feels like everyone's playing for him today. Yeah, and we have been. Um, obviously, if everyone reads the papers and reads the press, listens to what everyone say, it's it's uh, it's sometimes it does get to you. It does. Um, obviously, we've we've um, deserved that bit of criticism now and then because we have been bad, but um, we're fully we're fully behind the manager. I think everyone's come out and said that, and I think that really showed tonight uh, the way we played. Will you pay tribute to the defence? You be not. You won't be surprised, Winston's man no, of the match. Uh, I'll, I'll give it to him in my own head anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. There you go, Mark Noble, as honest as ever. And interestingly, taking the opportunity as well, just to remind everybody how much the players are backing the manager. Absolutely. And if you look, Winston Reid looked a bit tired. He has played two games in the States since <laughs> his last Premier League match. Right, well, let's, let's go straight to the goal.